Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, I'm Patty, and on Mondays I make characters, and on Thursdays I do home decor. Today I'm going to share with you this cute little 4th of July guy with his little pinwheels. If you want to how to make this little guy, stick around. I'll show you how. All right, let's get started. Okay, for this one, I'm just starting with a 4th of July knee sock that I already had in my stash, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it over a four and a half inch pool noodle. I'm going to pull it down to the bottom, and then I'm just going to cut the top part off. And then I'm just going to glue that right down to the top part of the noodle. And if you can't find a knee sock, you can just use a pair of socks and you might have to use two parts of it. I'm just cutting the band off on this one and I'm just going to fold the raw edge over. Now that's the top band at the top part of the, of the sock. And then I'm going to glue it to the bottom of my noodle here in a minute and I'm going to overhang it about a half of an inch. So go ahead and cut the bottom heel off and then we're going to go ahead and glue that down too. Just kind of trim it off and then we're going to start tucking it in and gluing it down. Just don't make it where it's so stretched. Kind of give it a little bit of um, volume in the, in the body. Then I'm just going to attach that band over the edge and then I'm going to go ahead and start gluing it down. And just make sure it overhangs the edge just a little bit because you do want it to look like the bottom of a shirt. You could use trim for that too if you didn't want to use the top of the sock. Okay, next I'm going to take a couple of little red um, tennis shoes. I'm going to open them up and then I'm going to add two 5 16 inch weights into each one of them to give it some balance. For the legs this time, I'm using something a little bit different. I'm going to use some of the Nerf um, bullets. You can buy a lot of those for a lot cheaper than you can on the little hair noodles. And then I'm going to take two quarter inch dowel sticks and sharpen them. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut these um, Nerf bullets down to three inches. And I'll give you the link for these in the description below. You get like a hundred of them for like nine bucks. And then I'm just going to glue my sticks down into the bottom of them. Then I'm going to add a little bit of stuffing to fill up the rest of it. Just push it all the way down the bottom and then glue it to the back. And then I'm just going to stuff them a little bit to kind of give them a little bit of um, volume. And then when we actually add the fabric for the legs, it'll cover all that up and seal those in. Okay, then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue into the bottom of the shoe and on the back part of the shoe, the inside back. And just push that all the way down and push it to the back. And then we're going to add a little stuffing to kind of fill these shoes out a little bit more. And then just tie them up. Okay, next we're going to make the pants. We're going to take a fabric. It's four and a half by two and three quarter. And I'm just using some denim that I cut off of a pair of jeans. And then I'm going to go ahead and hem up one long side and one short side. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and fold them over and glue them together. Now, just going to overlap them maybe a quarter of an inch. Just kind of take it and fold it over and glue that down. But probably not more than a quarter of an inch. Okay, next just go ahead and slide them up over the leg. Put the seam in the back and then we're going to glue them down on both sides. Just kind of pull it up over the tennis shoe because we're going to glue it to the tennis shoe. And then do the exact same thing with the other one. And then just make sure that when they're um, when you pull that leg on down, make sure it's exactly in the same place as the other one. You want to make sure that they match. Next, we're just going to gather them up at the top and glue them to that um, stick. 
So put a little bit of glue down in the back to hook glue it to the noodle and then start gluing around and just bring it up towards the stick. Just make sure it is sealed in good. And then do the exact same thing with the other leg. And next to attach the legs, we're just going to kind of cut a little slit in our sock and stick it right into the meaty part of that noodle on both sides. Just space them right across from each other on both sides. And then make sure he stands up good and then go ahead and take it out and we're going to glue it in. I'm going to put some glue inside the noodle and around the top edge of the leg. Okay, then just set that aside and just let it dry. Okay, next to make the hat, we're just going to cut the red part off of this part, which is the heel area. Turn it inside out, and then we are just going to tie it off with a rubber band. Now go ahead and tie it off with a string after you do the rubber band. I did go back in and do mine a little bit later, but go ahead and do it at this point right here. Okay, now we're going to make some little pinwheels for him to hold, and I'm just going to take two two-inch by two-inch squares, folding them across from each other in a triangle to find my center point. Then I'm going to use my scissors, and I'm just going to cut about a quarter of an inch away from that um, little dot that I just drew. I'm just going to take a needle, and I'm going to poke the right-hand side of each one of those triangles. And I'm going to poke a hole in the middle as well. And then I'm just going to take a brad and I'm going to run it through the back of the first one. And then I'm going to pull the other one over and add that one. And then you're just going to keep going around until you have them all connected. Just overlapping each one. And then we're going to kind of flatten it out a little bit and go right through the center where we had drawn that dot. Just push it down there and push that through. And then fold your brads back. Okay, next we're going to take the hat and we're going to fold it pretty far back so that we can get a cuff on it. And then just start gluing it around. And that cuff ended up being about two and a quarter inches. And then go ahead and turn it right side out. And then we're going to add a little bit of stuffing at the top so it's not so squared off where the edges are. And go ahead and pull the hat on down and make sure you put your cuff in there. Next, we're going to go ahead and cut our beard. And I'm, in, I'm showing you two and a quarter by two and a quarter, but cut it at two inches by two inches. And then go ahead and clean the excess off. And then we're going to come down about an inch from the top, make a mark, and that's where we're going to actually glue our beard on. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and put the hat back on. And then we're going to start figuring out exactly where we want to put our arms. Next we're going to take a pipe cleaner and we are going to fold it till we get it to four inches in length. And then I'm going to use another part of a sock that I had to make the sleeves. I'm going to use the bottom part of the sleeve, the finished out edge, as the bottom part of the arm. And I'm going to cut these pieces at five by two and a half inches in length. Now if you are not using the end of the sock where it has a finished edge, you need to add a little bit extra for um, a hem. I'm just kind of rolling my arm up in there, making sure that I can get it completely sealed in, and that ended up being five by two and a half. Okay, now I'm just going to hem up one long side on each one of these pieces. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my um, arm and one bead. I'm going to take a bead that has a hole in it because I am going to take that little um, barbecue skewer and that's what I'm going to attach the pinwheel to. So make sure that the hole is pointing outward and then add your arm. And then we're just going to roll this up together. But make sure that your bead 
the hole on it is facing outward. And then just roll it up as tight as you can because you don't want real fat arms. And then just go ahead and glue down that one side. And do the same thing with the other arm. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and clip them off right there, right where it meets the pipe cleaner on both of those. And then go ahead and add some glue inside there. And we're just going to kind of squeeze that together to close that opening up. And do that on both of them. Okay, to detach the arms, just kind of figure out exactly where you want your arm to be and cut an opening with an X-Acto knife. And I'm pretty close up to the top part of that hat. And you want to cut your slit open big enough so that you can get that arm in there because we are going to put it all the way in there so he has like a shoulder as well. And then I'm going to take a dowel stick to push in there to kind of open up that opening so I can get that pipe cleaner in there. But you want to make sure that you do get it pretty far in there so that it does stay in. And then you're going to want to do exactly the same thing for the opposite side. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and take and put some glue in the opening just underneath each arm and let that dry real good. Just try to hold on to it until it does dry. Let it set up pretty good. And then do the same thing for the opposite side. Okay, next I'm going to take a barbecue skewer and I'm going to attach my pinwheels to it. I'm cutting the point off and then I'm just going to kind of cut this in half. And then I'm going to shorten them here in a little bit. Then I'm going to take some craft foam, cut just a little bitty square off of these, and that's how I'm going to attach it to the back of the pinwheel. So you're going to put a little bit of glue onto the um, pinwheel, and then we're going to cover it with a little piece of craft foam. And that way it'll stay on. Okay, next I'm just going to take a 15 millimeter half bead and I'm just going to lift up his hat and I'm just going to glue his nose right onto his beard. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and cut the um, pole on these um, pinwheels a little bit shorter so they'll go down into his hands. And I'm not going to glue mine in but um, because they're going to stay in anyway. Just kind of figure out exactly where you want them but just attach them to his hands. And then you can position him or pose him any which way you want to. Okay, then for the top part of his hat, I'm just going to take a little pom-pom, roll it in my hand to kind of fluff it up, and I'm just going to glue it right on top of his hat. All right, that was pretty easy. He turned out pretty cute. Okay, I hope you liked the video. If you want to see future videos, be sure and like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have an awesome day.